All right, here we have Terra Luna symbol LUNA versus the dollar. Sebastian Vall uh, has a really good comment. <laughs> Just going to point that one out. Um, five day though, closing today, however, is putting in a bullish engulfing as of right now. That'll be confirmed upon daily closure anywhere above 92 spot 16. And, uh, and at that point, I would, I would actually increase targets towards about a 100 to 102 region. Um, so I want to go over this one a little bit more because long term, we've been, uh, we've been pretty on this one. Now, a couple weeks ago in early April, we did say that, hey, based off of the regular bearish divergence, that would imply targets down to mid to low 70s. We got that move. Now we're getting the first bounce from that move. So all of this is looking good thus far. The problem is, is that if you don't confirm that bullish engulfing on the five day i would be looking at this area specifically we can get rid of this one for right now it's not super relevant um, we can get rid of this one for right now same reason uh i, I would look at 97 and a half dollars as a big area meaning that as long as you're below there i do expect a pullback down to 89 to 90 bucks first still as higher lows the whole way through and not really concerning here for any continuation to uh, lower, uh, you know, anywhere like majorly lower towards like the mid to low 60s until you start to close four hour dildos back uh, back below about 83 and a half to 84 dollars. So um, this one is certainly amongst or perhaps even one of the strongest ones that we've seen today that actually has history for it long term. Weekly has the same sort of uh, bullish engulfing going on, which is good, and does have a drop of hidden bullish evidence that will also be confirmed as soon as uh, end of this week. And the five day could actually do it today if it confirms uh, here or higher. So I would be looking for that. You know, I, I do think that this one probably has a higher probability of testing the upside first, but I would express long term that there is still a risk of another downside move as long as you're below about a buck oh four. Um, that's kind of where I do look at this one as breaking out to likely new ultimate highs if if, uh, if that level does get closed above on a, on even a daily, uh, monthly. Mm, it's okay, uh, but not really much to talk about right there. Maybe we go check out momentum oscillators and see what they are looking like right now. Alrighty, okay, and daily. Daily's vertical above 77 or even below there as well. Uh, five days turning down below 105. So higher term time frames are still giving me kind of corrective signals for right now. Weekly turns down below 99. Uh, 12 hour should probably be vertical as well above 77 uh, here too. Six hour short term down below 93 and a half, which you are currently ever so slightly above. Same thing on the four hour at 93. So you know, if I had to call this one right now, I actually do think it's going to pull back from here, probably come back down towards uh, 89 to 90 dollars. Um, that's not super concerning. I'd really only be concerned on this one if you do start to close four hour dildos below that $88 region. At that point, I do look for this one to retest around your $80 lows. Again, I'm not calling like any major continuation of the downside first. I think this one's probably most likely to range here. Um, and until then, you know, if Bitcoin moves the upside, if Bitcoin gets this breakout above about 41.6 or so, I'd really be looking for this one to, to trade back up into the shallow uh, $100 region. That's going to have greater implications for bigger moves down the road. Until then, I think they're kind of ranging and I, I do think that there actually is a pretty good uh, pretty good chance that you get that move lower over time but probably takes a couple months if it's going to happen uh, but for right now not relevant to even you know position for in my opinion as long as you're above you know that mid 80 pivot uh, so hopefully that's helpful and there you go for Luna sir